Our big story tonight, after months of uncertainty for people who live in the Rio Verde foothills, there may finally be a solution to get their water flowing again. Team 12's Bram Bresnik has spoken with the city leaders who could make it happen and join us with these new developments in the saga. Hey, Bram. Hey, Rio Verde Foothills has become a national symbol of Arizona's struggle to deal with the mega drought. On today's taping of Sunday Square Off, I spoke with key players in this ongoing story who could transform it into a symbol of cooperation to solve a tough problem. It feels like we're just going for hope here. Hope was all these homeowners had. Now they have a chance. It needed to be fast, and, and, and we really kind of uh, dropped uh, everything to get this done. A legal opinion from Democratic Attorney General Chris Mays has cleared the way to restore water service to the Rio Verde foothills. Folks were within, we think, a couple weeks of running out of water. Hundreds of residents who relied on trucked-in water from Scottsdale have gone without water for almost two months since the city cut them off. They are not stepchild to Scottsdale. Scottsdale Mayor David Ortega has disavowed any responsibility for the city's former water customers in Rio Verde foothills. It's an unincorporated area north of his city. Uh, Scottsdale always delivered the message that the problem originated at the county and the state level. That scorn made Ortega a target of Rio Verde homeowners. Our water tanks and our homes will be dry. But this is avoidable. Now Ortega is on board with a plan to deliver water to Rio Verde. It's based on May's opinion that Maricopa County can haul the water to residents on an emergency basis. Here are three things to know about the two-year agreement that the Scottsdale City Council is expected to vote on Tuesday. Where's the water for Rio Verde coming from? That's unclear. Ortega says the Gila River Indian community will supply it. The tribe tells 12 News that will never happen. How much will the water cost homeowners? Water prices could triple based on what Scottsdale will charge the county for the water. Will a new water source give Rio Verde builders a green light? Ortega says only existing water accounts as of December 31st will be serviced. A Scottsdale City Council vote Tuesday would trigger negotiations with Maricopa County over terms of a water deal. Maricopa County Supervisor Tom Galvin, whose district includes Rio Verde Foothills, said via Twitter he is confident an agreement can be reached. Let's send it back to you.